first things first. Last time I played, but not last time I streamed, I was working on getting one of the other Pokemon for the team ready. For most I'm doing, like, on camera. Other stuff... Off camera. All I need to do is get a female Snorunt with Moody ability. That's it. Then we're gonna go right on to Faramosa. Nothing too complicated. Real straightforward. Just hatching some eggs for a hidden ability. I wish they told us the gender so we could like have it right there. Oh, Moody on the male. I have not gotten Moody on a female yet. That's what really bugs me. gonna do this wonderful another egg cool perfect fantastic great we're gonna swap that with this little asshole right here Excellent. I'm gonna have all of these hidden ability snow runs that I don't need. I'm not even worried about IVs at this point, considering what I'm looking for is so fucking annoyingly specific. What the fuck? Perfect IVs, though! What is this fucking cosmic punishment I'm receiving? If I don't get the hidden ability, then that means its ability will only be viable in Hailstorm teams. So, maybe yes, I'll have a Hailstorm team one. But I don't want to use that now. <sighs> Crosslass only has one normal ability. The other ability has is its hidden ability. That's it. So if I don't get a hidden ability snow run, I'm not gonna have a hidden ability frost last that I can name. I'm not worried about IVs, because as you can see, I got good IV yields with current parents. They don't even need to be spectacular for what I'm doing. They just need to not be shit. And I'm guaranteed at least five of them being... alright. Uh, okay. 
more slot. Come on, I'm gonna finish these. Shells and meatballs before I get the Pokemon I want. I don't understand, well, I do understand why I'm not getting the hidden ability when I need it, when the other ones are getting it. It's very fucking annoying. Since I'm just at the mercy of RNG. Come on! It's because I'm ditto breeding that's fucking it all up. The ditto is, of course, the other parents. And typically, because the ditto is a parent, the ditto is essentially always considered the mom. But because of that, if fucks everything up, since it just counts as the parent. It's not a perfect copy. This means it absolutely fucks over everything. And despite having hatched several females, only males I have hatched have had the moody ability. See? Just absolute bullshit. I saw you move your arm. Throw me a fucking bone, come on! God damn! It's not. It's not gonna. It's not gonna. Because it hates me. I'm doing everything right, but it just says no. Every time, it just says no. Why do you want to do this to me? Why must you scorn me so? What am I doing wrong? I'm not doing anything wrong. Ability Moody should be getting Moody. Why am I not getting Moody? Why? RNG is being absolutely fickle with me. At the same time, I'm going to use my phone just like. Uh... Support a fellow shiny guy While I'm at it fellow streamer. I'm supporting you silently. You don't even know haha -ha. 
I could say I'm lurking, but... Yeah, I'll just write lurk. Thing to tease me won't be a boy with booty. No, I don't want to nickname you. You're probably a guy with lur- with freaking moody. Another- Hey, thank you for the follow. <laughs> yeah. Does it have- We got moody! Finally, we got what we needed. We got moody Yuki. And it's okay. Oh, now we got that. We're gonna go to Shiny Hunting Faramosa again. Finally got what we needed. Perfect. I didn't even finish the can yet. Now to deal with this. Ah, <sighs> this is going to be such a pain. Yes. For Amosa, of course. Sweet. Easy route towards it, too. What do you know? Is that a Tangela? It was. It was a Tangela. Just gonna do that, I guess. A Gigantamax Pikachu. I mean, a little bit, but I figured that'd be something I'd get on my own. 
Also, how you doing, easy peasy? Giant lizard! I should have Salazzle on my bad bitch team. I just realized that. Because all Salazzles are female, it gives me coverage for poison and fire, and it'll match with everything else I'm going with on the team. I mean, I'm already hunting down Faramosa. If I can get a chance to catch a Salazzle during these raids, I will. Perfect for it. Event Pokemon Gigantamax Pikachu? Huh. We catch. I forgot. Oh no, I for <laughs> forgot to go buy Pokeballs. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm gonna have to do that a little bit. So I'm lurking in someone else's stream right now. They're currently playing Fortnite. It's like, damn. Do I want to swap? Hell no! I'm good. Frey can have it, though, I though I guess. Like, alright. Fine. So it's an event. Does that mean it's the only way I can get a Gigantamax Pikachu, or can I still get one by just giving it Max Mushrooms? You know? How good would Gigantamax Pikachu be in the competitive scene anyway? Because you can make a hold to Eviolite. Because it's not fully evolved. And while it's maxed, you can make it, every single one of its attacks gives it a stat boost. So you can build it up to full tank. You have a shiny Gigantamax Pikachu. I missed all the events. Oh man, I'm not gonna be able to get like any of the events really for Sword and Shield because they're all long gone. Closest shit I have is Wild Area News. A little bit, yeah. But I'm in this max layer right now anyway. But we can think about trading stuff later. Right now I want to deal with this current problem ahead of me. I have to buy a hundred Pokeballs and at least forty Great Balls. And then whatever how many Ultra Balls I need. Do I want to swap? I'm good. Shaw Bell, Wise Glasses, Left Berry, Evie Light, Boom Pause. Huh? Take that, I guess. 
Probably not the best. I should have took the glasses. Oh, it's a kiss fan. So we're just gonna ooze it up, I guess. There goes all our special attack. There goes all our special defense. I'm just gonna do that, I guess. There we go. Catch. Come here, ball. Get in the giant disco ball. It apparently weighs so much it can destroy the ground beneath it. Now it just comes down to hitting this thing a few times. Mm hmm. Will we get a shiny tonight? I don't know. I hope we do. Alright. Good hit, good hit, good hit. Got done to yell now. Come on. Well, he's gonna faint. And there he goes! All gone, super dead. All we need is a great ball.
Is the Feromosa shiny? It isn't, but hey, shiny Tangela! Shit, I'll take it. I still got a shiny at the end of that. Yes, record that. Thank you very much. And Pokemon. Terrible speed. But his special defense is pretty good and everything else is great. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, we're doing the trade, right? And which one is the... That's the one. <laughs> link trade set link code one four seven four one four seven four Be connected to the internet too while I'm at it. <laughs> I can collect platinum points. Neat. Here, have a perfect IV female snorrent. It has inner focus, so I don't want it. Shiny Chew. You gotta be shitting me. You gotta be shitting me. No! Oh no. Well, I still got it. What did you get? Did you get it? Peasy, answer me! Are you still alive? Okay. Alright, so I'm guessing what probably happened is it, it does the trade immediately. That has to be it. It has to just do the trade immediately. Choo choo choo. Okay, I'm going to put this in the needs work section, because I have a plan for that. 
I got a plan for surfing Pikachu. It's it's literally surfing Pikachu. Bruh. Bruh. Surf at you. Now that works really well, actually, because that means if it uses a Dynamax, it's Surf, Rain happens, and then Thunder will always hit. And I can make a whole Eevee Light to be a freaking tank. <laughs> I get that joke. Garbodor is going to be a uh, early game fuck me over situation. Or is it? I don't know. I'm uncertain. But, I have a sugar free Mountain Dew Spark. And I'm thinking, well if it has no sugar in it, then that means adding Kool-Aid to it won't make it too sweet. So I'm just gonna... Yep. Now typically I don't buy Sugar Free Mountain Dews. Because they're just... Yeah. So right now I'm essentially just mixing Fruit Punch with Lemonade. Pink Lemonade. Is now very, very rare. Just that. I get mixed in there. Yeah, that'll do it. Bloody poop red, nose bleed red. <laughs> Giving a fire type water absorb is a pretty good meme, though. Lightning. 
rock, ground, uh, Pokemon with freeze dry. No, actually. What it? Nah, they take neutral from freeze dry. Catch the Kingdra and I use it. I know it's chunky. It's Big Chungus. I want to swap. That way no one else takes it. Just gonna try and burn Phalanx, get that over with. Use a good move. Fuck your stat boost. Yeah! And now you have water absorb. I could shoot Scald. At the Magmar and heal it right now. I totally could. I want a Dragon Pulse to Phalanx. First impression only works in the first turn. There we are, Ranguru. Do something useful. Nice. Now you also have water absorb. Yay. You know what would be a good combo? Are there any Pokemon that's only weakness is water? If so, then in doubles, if you have a Pokemon with entertainment and the ability Rain Dish, you could throw that together 
Oh, no, not rain dish. Dry skin. Dry skin. Because that doubles as water absorb and rain dish at the cost of being extra hurt by fire and sunny day. So you can essentially have, like, a Pokemon that would normally be ruined by that. Instead, it ha instead you pair it with a Pokemon that knows Surf. And it's just like, cool, I'm going to heal my Pokemon as well as hurt yours every turn. There's nothing you can do to stop me. Pokemon do I know that have dry skin and can learn entertainment? Uh, if I want to swap, I'm good. Huh? Yes, this boy right here. Anyway, it's time to drink the uh, this. Flavors pair up pretty well. Physical wall, use special attacks. Water absorb. Should have done that on the magmar. Ah, yes, this is a smart slow bro. It has flamethrower. I see, I see. Very good. Very good. I'm gonna try and burn it. Even though it's going to do a lot less damage. Yes! Araquanid, yes! Shit! Oranguru, shit! Maybe I'm better off just doing damage. Yes. Yes. Now hit me with a water type move. I could heal the uh, Ranguru with this. I probably should. I'm just gonna lower its speed even more. Even though I really shouldn't. Hello. 
we have to. Ooh, pop tarts. What ones did I grab? I don't know. I didn't check. It's either strawberry, cherry, or blueberry. Blueberry. Ah, uh, yeah, so let's go, Eevee. First faint of the night. Please use a wires of attack on the fucking no. That's two. I would have loved if you used fucking Max whatever on it and just fully restored his health. So you just have a backlog of eggs you haven't hatched yet? Nice. I wonder if you can link trade eggs. You know you can trade eggs before in other games, can you still trade eggs in this game? Now it's time. Time for a tall lady. when it just attack it see like that doesn't use any water type attacks there I go that's faint number three
Magmar, if you could just flamethrow it, I'd really appreciate it. Orangaroo, yeah. We're gonna lose this. It's gonna max flutter be the Orangaroo. Or not. Just attack! Good. Does I guard 10% form? Alright, let's see if this is the tall lady I want. Excuse me. <sighs> Not even a rando shiny. Well, didn't get the Feramosa. That sucks. So, easy peasy. Again, as usual, since you're one of the only people watching my streams, you have been selected again as the winner. I'm starting to wonder if I should just stop letting you win at this point. Because your options here are Tangela and Haunter. You don't want one of these? All right. If you say so. Well then, let me reconnect the internet. Let's still have a battle though then. Oh wait, 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 wait. You don't want a shiny, but you did win, so I should still give you something.
Would you like a Torkoal or a Toodle? This one's German. This one has no attack, so that means it's uh, actually really good. So I'll uh, give you a nice Torkoal that's all set to go. It's got Drought ability. It's got a good nature. Doesn't need attack. Oh, you want Toodle instead? Okay. Okay, that one's got... Hmm, which one of these is the best one to give you? This one's HP is pretty good. I'll just move this one right here so it doesn't get hard to find. Tortola, what? What? Oh, Torkoal? You, you want the Torkoal? Have a Torkoal then. It doesn't need the attack stat because it's a special attacker anyway. <laughs> is that what I think it is? That's what I think it is, isn't it? Look at you, Mr. Generous. God damn! You win the raffle, but I get a shiny. Okay! It has the error. God damn it. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's not maxed. It appears you forgot to give the last four points into something. Okay. Okay, just making sure. It said Hoenn, so I'm thinking... So that means he got it through the warp holes. But there's its three IVs. Mmm, Omega Ruby. I had Alpha Sapphire. Nice. Third gen was. It was such a good gen, wasn't it? Like, first gen was iffy, like, but it began everything, so you gotta give it that. Second gen was more first gen. Third gen was intended to be a rebrand, a remake of, like, re a reboot. It was meant to be a reboot. And then we had 4th gen, which was just, oh man, they gave us so much 4th generation, holy shit. Oh man. Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, they, those, those games fucking sold DS's. No fucking way they did not. They, they definitely pushed the fucking console.
They had to up. Then, uh... You can just chill out in here. Yeah. Oh yeah, fifth gen was fifth gen was also amazing, but I'm still on fourth gen right now. Let, let me rant about my fucking love of fourth generation. Ah oh, man, so many good times, so many mystery gifts. Like, oh my god, the fact that fourth generation not only had its three main games. But it had the second gen remakes, so we had Kanto and Johto in fourth gen, and I loved it. I absolutely loved it. Like, those remakes took everything from gen 1 and just... Ugh. Perfect. Absolutely fucking perfect. Like, yeah, it didn't have the story of uh, Red, Blue, Green... But it had Crystal Story, which was, you know what, pretty freaking good with the updates and changes that they made. The battle system, since it was based on 4th gen, was superb. The fact that you could have a little Pokemon follow you around the whole time, magnificent. Like, it's, it, it was so great. Because it was funny, because in a way, it was like every Pokemon had pickup. Because like, they, they follow you around, they, they, get, they give you things, or they do silly little antics. Wonderful time. Absolutely wonderful time. There are any kinds of different Pokemon that you can catch. Like, just having a copy, just having two copies of 4th Gen games, either from the Diamond Pearl Platinum era, one from Diamond Pro Platinum, and then one of either Heart Gold or Soul Silver. You had everything you fucking needed. It was great. Now, we move over to fourth gen, fifth, fourth, fifth gen, and they were literally taking everything they could out of the console. They they were they had constant animations going. Every they had this whole they improved the semi three D look of everything. Fantastic. They played more with, like, angles and whatnot. Like, they really pulled out all the stops they could on 5th Gen at the time, really taking advantage of the console's, like, hardware. Like, they were still limited, but they fucking cranked that shit, finally. And, uh, then we get to 6th Gen, and 6th Gen was a little rocky. Like, what they did with it, they... They tried, definitely, but it was a bit rocky, considering how they shifted up to X and Y on the 3DS, and they now had to work on a different console, and they moved to full 3D uh, renders. Which, of course, while the console was stronger, still taxed it. And, my god, was there so much lag, the more Pokemon you had on screen. Holy shit. There was lag in the 5th gen games when triple battling happened. And rotation battles. Like, you could definitely see it struggling after a while. Because it's like, damn. Is it... The game, it really is just like, absolutely shit tons of different slots of data for all the different Pokemon. Just fuck tons of slots of data. You gotta find ways to maximize, like, your data reading routes. And have very limited animation if you don't want it to just fucking. For how basic the game is, it's surprising how many resources it eats up on Nintendo consoles. You know? It's weird. So I did enjoy having white version. That's the one I originally got for 5th gen, white version, because I wanted Zekrom. Because I thought the big menacing black dragon looked just fucking awesome. And there was a lot of comparison between the black and white games and Yu-Gi-Oh! If only because they had a blue-eyed white dragon and a red-eyed black dragon. It was like, yeah! Yeah, you, you, you're not getting away with that one, Game Freak. We, we see what you're doing there. <laughs> just because one of them's hairy doesn't mean we don't see And 
And that was also when, when they were, you know, how, you know how Pokemon, like, patents all of the possible names for their game series at a time? That's actually when they patented Pokemon Scarlet. So now they're finally using Scarlet, which is a name they patented all the way back in 5th generation. Only took them four gens! Ugh. <sighs> I like Superior. I picked the Grass Starter in 5th Gen. And then I picked Tepig in uh, BW2. It was weird. Me and my friends actually treated uh, DS games like Pokemon cards in a way. Where we actually traded game cartridges between one each other. And that's how I ended up getting Wake 2. Yeah, Oshawott's cool, but I, I wasn't feeling it. Like, Oshawott, to me, felt like another Piplup. You know what I mean? They were both Water-type, they were both oddly round, and then slowly evolved into a sharper Pokemon. Y you know what I mean? Oh yeah, we were going to have a battle. Link battle. Link code. 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 8, 7, 4. I don't hate Oshawa or forget about it. I just would never really had a massive preference for water starters. Like, I picked Sobble in this game because I didn't want the monkey or the rabbit. I preferred the Salamander. The Spy Salamander. It's kind of funny how each of the starters in this generation are literally just British. That's what they all are. Their overarching theme is they're British. Rillaboom is based on the punk rock scene. Sobble's Final Evolution in Teleon, James Bond. It's just James Bond. Not even a sniper lizard. He has a gadget in his finger. That's what it is. A secret gadget. A spy tool. Hence why he also looks like he's wearing a suit. He's just James Bond. In the last one, uh... Our resident soccer star. Just a soccer fan. A soccer hooligan. Quite literally. Because, as we know, soccer is the bigger sport over there. That's why it's called Inteleon. It, Intel. Intelligence. An intelligence agent.
this ought to do it. Well, I already got out the Pokemon that would have been affected by that. Hey, some sign. They got you. pick on my call, because I picked Earth. I mean, yeah, I lost the substitute in the process, but I think I can more than make up for it. Ha <laughs> oh, ha Forgot the sash. Well, damn, man. Well, there's all that. Oh, thank you for that, Smooth Res. Oh shit, here it comes.
should have used the fire. I should have used my fire move against your bug instead of my max airstream. Then it would have been sunny, and that would have had reduced damage. Two. That makes three. This works. There it is. Now that should do a lot of damage. Should. It doesn't though. Because this is an unburdened septile. Imagine if you had actually triggered my uh, citrus berry, though, because then acrobatics would have been stronger, too. Hmm. 
Let's go with you. Come on, crit! Just enough damage. Good game. Oh, shit. What'd you type? Whatever you type, Streamlabs said no. <laughs> Bruh, I'm a casual. I just like using Charizard. Like, literally, I have two separate teams that dedicate using a different variant of it. I got Zandria from Ahaha, then I got my stand with the Ifri. They're both my Mega Evolution ones, but since Mega Evolution ain't a thing anymore, I just repurposed them. Rebound here was a good counter to your sticky web. The unburdened boosted speed by a stage. I don't know why it didn't show what happened, though. I'm guessing the uh, animation from the solar beam overtook it. I mean... He's weak to rock. Like... They are insanely weak to rock, which is one of the best types. If you brought in a rock type... Like, if you brought in a priority move rock type, you probably could have been able to deal with it. It's just a giant game of elemental rock, paper, scissors. Like, typically the best counters for a boosted up... Uh, Charizard is a Pokemon with Prankster in Clear Smog. Excuse me. Uh. Or a Rock-type Pokemon with Rock-type Priority moves. Yes, there is. Where is he? There it is. Accelerock. Always goes first. So you get a poem with Accelerock and some pretty high damage output, and you'll be fine. Technically speaking, uh, as Lycan Rock is a hard counter to Charizard. Boosted Charizard, anyway. Moves that make contact have boosted damage. And since Accelerock, I'm pretty sure, is a contact move. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it is. It has boosted power. Here we be lurking. Hey, what's up?
So yeah, uh, try a Lycan Rock to hard counter Charizards and Talonflames. Talonflame is like a Charizard, but frailer with even higher offensive stats and speed. Charizard is bulkier of the two. Yeah, I'm honestly surprised my Terrakian was fast enough. But the Meow Stick that I used to counter your uh, Dynamax really worked out. Because I drained out your thing, and while you were trying to kill it, I set it up both my screens. Which is what boosted Rebound to stay in the game. Didn't even have to go to Nia, didn't even have to go to Nia or reuse Caterpillar. Anyway, now that's over. Let's go back to shiny hunting Ferramosa. At 165. Let's check the base speed of a Terrakian, because I have because mine's maxed on speed. Okay, mine's maxed on speed, which means at level 50 it had 176. At 50. Base speed of Terrakian in the average area is 108. That's pretty good. Well, let's see if we can get to Ferramosa. Ooh. Ooh. A Borb. Aside from the light bird, everything is actually uh, pretty decent at dealing with it. Well, let's see if we can get the Pheromosa this time. Stream, boost everyone's speed, deal with that. If I remember correctly, isn't Incineroar designed as a wall breaker? Alright, 
it. We're not boosted up on speed. Executor, no! Solar beam won't work here! <sighs> Viper, just claw at it, god damn. You're a fur. You're, you're a cat, it's a bird. Use your instincts. There we are. That's some needed damage. Wow. That was shit. <laughs> oh, there we go. I keep forgetting to buy more Pokeballs. Fucking idiot. Everything distracts me from getting them. God damn it, I need more disco balls. Shit. Ah, boy. <laughs> oh well. I should probably swap to this anyway. That way, uh, I'm not stuck with only one attack I'm gonna run out of by the time I get over there. Okay, deal with that, get items, go around towards the psychic, heal up with the fairies, and then take on Pheromosa, and hopefully accumulate no KO. It should be a simple run. Will we get a shiny? Probably not, but damn it, it would be nice to try. And no one let me forget to buy Pokeballs after this. And under it goes. And dead he goes. Shit. So now it'll be a giant with a huge freaking Irakuda in its body. Oh no, that deletes it. Damn. That's kind of shitty.
so I get to just freaking eat the arrow cuda then. God damn. Great balls, just as good as master balls right here. Well, that's better than having the Lightbird, actually. Mmm. Why is last? This comes on my swapping the Musha on it. Or. Actually, will I be swapping the Musha on it? Probably not. Depends on what moves it has. I think it's a semi support. It's a tank. It's weak to bug, but resists fighting. The executor is technically my worst choice in the Ushana. So I might keep the Cramorant and hope that the executor swaps to that. Sigilith is a hard counter. But I can at least repeatedly throat chop it. The Musharna line and the Hypno line are both based on the same thing. And were both actually originally created in the first generation. But Musharna and Muna did not make the cut, so they were later introduced in the fifth generation. Really interesting thing. How do I know that Muna and Musharna are actually first gen? That were held off until later? They're just directly referenced in red and blue. If I remember correctly, there's a fat guy on the roof towards uh, Cerulean City. If you talk to them, he talks about having a dr seeing a weird pink Pokemon with flower patterns on it in his dreams. That is a dead ringer for Moon. So if anyone says that certain designs of newer gens are lazy as compared to older gens, they're an idiot. Because chances are, whatever they're talking about was designed years in advance. All Pokemon just look derpy like this. That's just how they look. I, for one, enjoy their silly designs, even if they seem uninspired. Because you know what? They're just weird animals. What's better than a weird animal? You can't say you don't want to pet that style one. Look how fluffy it is. Just, uh, geyser it, I guess. Don't have to. Yeah, 
I'm gonna swap to that. I want the I want the ability to have psychic damage more now. Uh, uh, maybe I shouldn't. Hmm, it's a tough pick. Hmm. Uh, yep. Yeah. Yes, I want to swap. Extra damage. Extra power. I should be able to do at least half of the thing's health in one good hit. Worn about the high jump kick. Watch out, Stoutland! Let's open up by yawning and praying that we actually get it. Oh good, decided Swift was a good idea. Wow, I should have just attacked actually, hot damn. Loving it. Loving it. Didn't kill me. Try again. Not literally. God damn. Whatever. First faint. We're fine. We're fine. Second faint, technically. But we're fine. We're fine. Air slash that bitch. Boom. Yeah. Perfect. Another chance. Will we be shiny? I don't fucking know, but I fucking hope so. I gotta buy so many Pokeballs. Yeet! She looks like she's... She looks like she's dressed to go to a disco party. Now she's in the disco ball. Check the summary. No, no, no. Frick. Relax, nature. You don't need defense, you need speed and attack. Really weird, giant, ultra-long antenna. No shinies. What is disappointment? Let's just fly over here. That's fast on walking. I can just buy all the Pokeballs we need from this guy. Right.
Oh, that gives me all my hundreds. I need to capture Karen. Well, Terry is perfect for this, actually. Fish, item, ground, psychic, finish. That'll work out for just fine. Not the best pick, but psychics are still a decent pick. This Fermosa, for some reason, fails to be able to just one shot any of the fully evolved mods. Except for the ones that are also basic when they're fully evolved. Oh, no! We'll be fine. Fine. So far, pretty good indeed. Come on, kick its ass, 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 kick its ass. harder, it's styling on us, it's dancing. Yeah. Fuck your attack boost. Poison point. Oh no. Everything with the wormwind. So anyone else see any good anime lately? I've been thinking about watching Chainsaw Man. Why didn't you do that before? Do I want to swap? No, I mean without it. Absolute swap. Amelia, why didn't you let Catherine swap? What's your problem, bitch? God damn!
Someone else get the bright powder? No one got the bright. A white nerf? Really? That's not a very good pick. White herb is only really good. Like. It's like gone almost immediately. Unless you have an ability like Unburden or the move Acrobatics, it's just not good. Big dig. Heat wave is the strongest one, so I guess we'll just use that. Hope for a burn. Oh shit! Bye, Absol. Surprise Pikachu face, a eh, smooth res. That's what I like to see. Burn? No burn. That's good. It's very good. Very, very good. Yeah, it's the highest power. But Dragon Pulse will probably deal more damage. Max Quake. Well, bye, cool fish. Or not. He just aims for the other one entirely. Okay. Doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> nice. What an absolute fucking... Goof, you are, Doug Trio. Thinking that Quillfish wouldn't absolutely rock your shit if you didn't get rid of it. Do I want to swap? No. And no one took the Doug Trio. Even though it would have been a really good idea. Bots are stupid. Gleam at it in a dazzling manner. Terrible idea. Congrats, Goldfish, you fucked over your stats. Great job. Mm -hmm. Now then, can we, uh, just, uh, I don't know. Yes. That does it. Uh, that's the ticket right there. Perfect. This again, I suppose.
Yes, indeed. Perfect. Fantastic. Amazing. Great. Now, can someone else just, like, get that last little chip hit on it? Thank you! And now, get into the Disco Ball. Why did no one take it? These bots are stupid. Three times in a row, not one of them took them on. I'm gonna carry the whole fight. Lurking in the shower? Well, that's a bit creepy of you, isn't it? He's lurking there waiting for someone to pop in. Do, 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 do. <laughs> What's that movie, Psycho? The way that movie was first advertised is hilarious. Uh, basically what happened was the, the guy who directed the movie Psycho got to, of course, also make the commercial for it at the time. So what he did was show off the whole set and explain, like, some of the story, basically give it away, but he... Then he, whenever he would bring up that woman, he would say that woman and then shudder. Ugh. And everyone's like, yeah, what about that woman? But he doesn't He doesn't continue, he just moves on to the next part of the set. Explains another tidbit, then brings up that woman. Ugh. Everyone's drawn in. We all wonder, what about that woman? What's going on? Why her? Why is... Why do you shudder every time you bring her up? What's so creepy about her? I'm intrigued. Huge turnout to watch the movie because everyone was so intrigued. Check summary and no, no, no. Boo! Why aren't you shiny, Karen? Is someone do it? Someone ping me about this. Oh yeah, Duncan's lady. Yeah. But now your name is Drunkin's Lady. New account, I, I guess? What? Oh well. Yes, keep a record of Pheromos' location. Find anything interesting? Aladios. I am intrigued, but also not. Yellow futuristic shades. What can I buy from you now? A bit. Hmm.
I could get five bottle caps. And I'd have ten. I'm not going to. Also, the fact that they offer you Beast Ball here for 150. <laughs> nah, you don't need it. Later, you're pretty much guaranteed most of your catches. Yes, please. Put me back in, coach. I need that Feromosa. Yeah. This Also, this video is going to do great for my analytics. We've had, like, pretty steady three or more viewers, like, the entire time. I really appreciate the help, everybody. That, this is doing great. Maybe this will push me to, like, 2.9 or even 3. I don't know, but fuck it, I'll be happy no matter how it ends up. None of those were good. I will not shut up, easy peasy. I will continue to appreciate your viewership. You can't stop me from being happy. Okay, so we're gonna go for the steel type. Not the best option, but certainly something better than it. One of the things these three have. Now it can't hit us all with a move like Swift, which it totally has. Good job with that wide guard hit, Mom Lee. Totally helpful. Not like you could have just used a fight tip attack on her or something. Wow! Fucking wow! Absolutely fucking destroyed. God damn it. This is gonna be a terrible run. Absolutely terrible run. God damn it. Ugh. Yeah, this game servers, like, it's, it's not just the servers, it's another thing. It's the type of connection system that the Switch uses in general. It's actually just not that good compared to other, like, internet connection types that are available these days. Because, for instance, Pokemon Unite, phenomenal connection. I've never had a connection issue while playing Pokemon Unite. It's a fucking MOBA. It's free. Like, the, we, for the most part, most of the stuff is peer-to-peer. -peer, but because it's a MOBA, where they need to get everyone, like, as well connected as possible, like, there's a lot more care put into that one's peer-to-peer.
Meanwhile, other Nintendo games like Mind Pokemon games, Splatoon 3, any game that requires online connectivity for multiplayer, really is just like giving the shit end of the stick. And don't take Nintendo's advice on what to do for boosting your connection. The advice that they give, don't take it. It's it's shit. They're basically telling you to open up your system so anyone can fucking hack it. Why did no one take it? Oh, God. And now we bug buzz. Oh yeah, everyone can handle this one. We're like, yeah, we'll start attacking it all the time. Constantly even, yes. Wonderful. Trick room, cool. Really? God damn. Perfect. Cash Pokeball, use that. Alright, let's go. Into the Disco Ball you go, you freaky treat. Perfect. Probably not gonna be shiny. I'm good. Finally. Not the best decision, but it's certainly better. Mmm. Mmm. I won't take it, but someone else might. Or... Okay, I guess. You know what I just realized? Remove all the Pokemon from this equation, just have the people here. We look like your usual ragtag group of freaking Call of Cthulhu player characters. A police officer, a random kid, a gardener, and a businessman who all got tied into this. That's kind of funny. So much saw. Like the way you get thrown into the into a saw escape dungeon is a bit more specific and non-specific at the same time. Because it was about like proving that you didn't truly value life in some way, or proving that you did because Jigsaw and his minions all thought you didn't, or after Jigsaw's death, his minions just didn't like you, because they're fucking sociopaths. 
psychopathic sociopaths. But I bring up Call of Cthulhu because, like, you're typically at one of two categories if you're a player character in Call of Cthulhu. You're either just some normal person who was around town that stumbled upon something they shouldn't have, or you were an absolute fucking nutcase. Plus, you add it back in the Pokemon, like strange multi dimensional creatures of which we barely understand and fear. That's called Cthulhu right there. You don't want to swap? I'm good. And the BEM got swapped out. Whatever, last chance for items, I guess. I can work with that. Damn, everyone else picked different seeds. Shit. Did you really just leave to raid me? Did you really do that easy peasy? Why would you do that? Well, to what end would you have to leave my stream just to raid me? Like, honestly, that makes no sense. Why? sour than usual what the fuck Ugh. 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 why what the f Ugh. Oh shit, I'm still not faster than it. Gotta lower its speed more. Or not, maybe I'll end up getting KO instead. Oh, we have one life left, shit. Damn it. Fucking AI not taking any of the switches. Try this again. God damn it. <laughs> we got some good options here. Why 
why'd you take the light bird? You're just gonna not use the attacks. Okay, I don't want to go for steel, but go for electric, then go for fire. There's items on that route too. That should make up for it. We got a ground type, so we should definitely be able to handle it. All right. <sighs> I'm gonna have some more pop tarts and a little peckish. All this not getting the shiny pheromones is making me hungry. Or maybe it's just the caffeine. It's probably the caffeine. Yeah, no, Assurance on a fast mod actually isn't that good. Because Assurance does more power on a Pokemon that's already been damaged in the same turn. If Assurance is the first move to go off, which is what keeps happening because fucking Life is fast, it's not good. I would like the fire type, please. I should have took the Avial Life. That was an option right there. So angry! God damn! Hey, can someone uh, actually hurt it? Wow, it really did not like that Julie Bob. Wrong zone, hit it this time, please.
you keep missing? Fine, a move that won't freaking miss. Good. Jesus Christ. Fucking miss a Zen headbutt three times in a goddamn run. Piece of shit. Good, you survived. And you made sure he didn't. Good. God damn. Go for that, maybe someone will take it. Out of the way, once we're done with the battle, we'll be at full health. And everyone just please attack ya. Oh thank god. That's a lot of pickings. <laughs> May not be a whole lot, but should be enough for at least a KO. At least guaranteeing a KO as long as someone else attacks. Well, supporter mine, 
not doing too well. Ah! Perfect. Damn good. Last one, then we're gonna get our berries heal up and we go for the Fermosa. Excuse me, I'm good without it. All right. This ought to be everything we need. Let's not get KO'd this time. Really would have preferred to have you a light. Yes, because I have sound moves, clearly. Reflect. This is pretty good. Might actually do it. Yes. Yes. And now we're perfectly walled up. Perfect. The helping hand boosted it to be just strong enough. Time for a great ball. It's a great be shiny I don't know let's check the stats and let's go check summary regular 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 sadly regular Another one of the four generic natures. Amazing. Absolutely no augmentations. Except what appears to be higher attack IVs instead of special attack. Well, that's just typical in this one's case. Yeah, nah. Nothing good here. God damn. What'd you find? A circuit tree. I'm good. Nah, that's not the Ultra Beast I'm currently looking for.
Do they just not have an entry? God damn. What am I missing here? Ah. Ah. Really? Really? Huh. Well, okay. Um. And there's Scizor. Fucking hell, I swear I have one. Yeah. Okay, I never caught a Larvesta, apparently, but I know where I can get one. Well, he's gonna siege her some other time, I guess. I wish it told you which ones you actually have in the decks or not on the selection screen at the end of the Dynamax layer. That would be useful. I'll have to finish that up eventually. I'm also just annoyed that I can't see Fermosa in there, which means I can't check how many of them I fought. I figured that would be valuable information for me to know. But I'm going to take a short break. Because i got to use the restroom and I'll be back in like five minutes. Five minutes stops. Five minutes tops.
Yeah, that was totally five minutes. Totally. Totally five minutes. Not... Couldn't have been more five minutes like that in the world. Ultimately, truly just five minutes. Yes, please. No, no, no. Uh, uh. I wonder what Shiny Fair mostly even looks like. Yes. Yes, I am back. Here. Again. Here I am. Uh, me. 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 I'll just go all the way along that side. Should work out. Time to Google what Feromosa's shiny form looks like. Feromosa. That's what I'm getting Alright, cool, awesome, fantastic, great. Shadow Bone! Jutsu! Alright. Yeah. Game data all the way down to the bottom of that list. Shiny Feromosa looks pretty good. That's, that's like the best shiny design I've ever seen. For a Pokemon, to be perfectly honest. It's not just a weird palette swap. It's generally just like somewhat different. It looks fashionable, even. Pure sunshine has stopped lurking. Because my account went down to two and they pinged saying that they support me on the uh, server. On the Discord server. The Hidden Kingdom, where we all just support each other and watch each other's streams and learn what, where, and how is it going and shit. Anyways, let's re roll! Because. It technically already won one CZPZ. I'm good. I see. Let's try that again. Well. I guess we have to wait for a few more people to get active in the chat.
Gigantamax sent the Scorch. That's a big uh, skittery boy. It's a really big skittery boy. Also, why would you ask me if I had a penis? Because I'm not going to show you. I'm a guy. I would be entirely banned from Twitch and never get to come back. Hey, thank you for the follow, uh, Sip Alive. I hope uh, you enjoy watching my uh, random bullshit. Currently trying to get a shiny Feramosa. After several tries, it has not happened yet. This is the second stream where I've been trying to do it. Oh no. Oh no! No! Beware, just attack it. Don't try to lower its stats. Fuck. <laughs> I want a shiny. Yes, wonderful. You know what else I won? Two viewers from a raid. Oh, yeah. Time to celebrate. Oh, yeah. Thank you for the following, Red Wolf 624. I hope you enjoy my pain as much as everyone else does. <laughs> hmm. You know those like really sour candies, like insanely sour? Squirting liquid Kool-Aid tropical punch flavor on your tongue is like the same effect for a few seconds, just so concentrated and so Oh dear, strong. Not fun. Not fun at all. <laughs> yeah, toxic waste. Warheads, yeah. Just like that. Now clearly that flavor is the citrus, the, the sourness, that's the citric acid. All acids generally taste sour. I'm good without it. Which is why uh, pineapple has that nice tangy sweet and sour taste sometimes. Like, generally, yes, it's sweet, but it has acid, so it has that nice tang. Okay, everyone, hit it with ground type attacks. It can't avoid them. It doesn't have levitate. Stacy do to you now? Did she take your phone and then throw it at you? 
<laughs> okay. That's a good hit. That's a good hit. That's a good hit. That's a good hit. Sadly, it was the game pack, so it's kind of shit. Not as powerful as I wanted it to be, but pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Good. I'm still here. I'm not done yet. Oh yeah. Please be enough. Fuck. And there I go. Wah, wah. Please get a free heal. Please get a free heal. Shit. Well, at least that's done with. Alright. Catch. Pokeball. Get in the disco ball, you bunch of floating smelly balls. Next up, Karen. Nice. What's a Bulu? Oh, you mean Tahu Bulu. Yeah, no on the boo. In fact, now that we're actually a bit more active, just so you know everyone, as it says in the title, shiny giveaway. Basically the way it works is you have to actually be active in the chat for it to count you as part of the list for someone who can win. So if you're within 10 minutes of the raffle, then you are a possible ch uh, yeah. It's a 10 minute from the roll thing. If you're active within 10 minutes before the roll, you are on the list of possible people it selects. I don't control that. Like, I have it set to be as wide reaching as possible. But basically, the last roll wasn't going through, because Easy Peasy already technically won. He declined the shiny, though. And every time I kept re-rolling it, just went back to either me or him. And I can't exactly win my own shinies. Alright. We just have to hope that nothing bad happens. All right, we're good. Yeah, you might, unless a bunch of people all just posted a random phrase in the chat right now. Come on, get the shiny Feramosa. This one I need for a team. Come on, shiny Feramosa. Need the style of the Feramosa. Big Karen bug. Come on, let's go. One. Two. Three.
Check summary. No shiny. No shiny. No shiny. Not shiny. Good nature, though. Shit. Jolly nature's actually really good on a Pheromosa. Oh yeah, you, you mentioned the goal to currently run. That doing any good for you, or are you have are you hitting the wall? Anyway, no good pheromones here. I mean, the problem with doing that in black and white, too, is you need a lot of assistance to even get a goal work that early in the game. Okay. Hmm. Friend guard Clefairy. We'll have that for the start. Okay. Okay, we go for the Hatterene. Or... Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, Hatterene, got to. The other side has a bunch of types that won't be as useful, but it has the items. Kind of sucks. There is not a fire type, fairy type Pokemon as far as I'm aware. If there was, though, hmm. It would make perfect sense for it to have little wisps. It would be a wisp, most likely. You know what? That is unironically. They didn't think of that. God damn it! In the oh my fucking. Hear me out. Hear me out. This region is based on England and Scotland, right? An old Anglo-Saxon myth, that is where the Will of the Wisps, in which the move Will-O-Wisp is based on, originates. They are little pixie sprite fairy things that look like dancing planes that guide people places. Either to safety or into traps, because you're just following the will of the wisps. They are wisps. So, 
Why the fuck do they not have a fire fairy type wisp Pokemon? What the fuck? Why was that not in this region? That would have been perfect. God fucking damn it, Game Freak. Missed opportunity. As much as I really like playing Pokemon, I gotta say, nothing but missed opportunities from this uh, developer. Game Freak quite literally has nothing but missed opportunities. Probably because not as many people want to work on Pokemon. Like, there was that, of course, a time in which they actually did try making a bunch of other games. And in doing so, that took away people from working on Pokemon. Coincidentally, also, the Pokemon games of which we had sort of the least content on, go figure. And all those other games that they had made never caught on getting good grand appeal, despite the fact that they were made by the same company who made Pokemon. So those were considered flops, and they had to go back to just focusing on our favorite little pocket monsters again. Much to, I imagine, a lot of people's disappointment. I want to swap Pokemon. Not only does this one have Life 2 as well to act as a semi cleric, it can Gigantamax, making it a substantially more powerful pick. Go for the little ground rodent over here. Oh no, it's a gastronaut. Wonderful! Alright. How are we gonna deal with this? Expand force or play well? I was gonna safeguard first. The other should be able to take care of it real easy. Yeah. And that's fully restored. Just like that. for me, I guess. Oh, 
the chance for a shiny. Get a big old shiny slug. Good. That's an okay swap, I guess. Open the Malamar here. Should be able to have uh, enough Pokemon to get rid of it. Or recruit it. One or the other. Then we'll have it taken care of, add it to the team. Then we go against the We'll see. Will it be shiny? I don't know. We're going to find out. So let's go! Smite, let's go. All right, so I'm gonna hit affiliate by the news. Once I hit affiliate, I'm gonna push harder to host that tournament with the shiny legendary prizes. Cause there's. Limited supply on the ones I'm offering. Incredibly limited supply. You ain't gonna be able to find fourth generation event Pokemon anymore. And away it goes! Yeet and suck! <laughs> Let's take a sip of the good soda. And we're all set to go. Four whole hearts. Come on. Oh no, Taylor just used Swift. <laughs> Come on, Karen. Well, that should do a few hits of damage. Not enough to really get rid of it. There we are. Another solid hit ought to be enough. And if we can get one. No more of you. That kind of sucks. But we do have three other Pokemon to attack with still. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. It'll be fine. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. It failed because its target was no longer in play. We're good though. We're good. You know what I just realized? Hatterene is like Imp Midna, but with more hair. 
and fairy colors instead of twilight colors. Hatterene is a shiny Midna, because they both got the hair hat hand thing going on. And they're both really tiny. Damn it. I mean, Timid is actually a pretty okay nature if you go for a special attack or Pheromosa. I don't know why you would. Its options aren't that good for that, but here it is. Yeah, no, none of these. But disappointing, really. All right, another, let's go. Unless anyone wants to have a battle or anything. Fermosa, come on. Will we get it? Ugh, probably not. For some reason, shiny legendaries only appear to me when I am not actively trying to get them. Well, I now have my Pokemon I'm going to use for the entire run. It's a Caparaja over there. Huge ass square. That's a Dreadnought. Big turtle. Mimikyu, however, should be able to do more than a bit if you need to resist most moves. It really avoids all fight type moves. And the very first bug type move that hits him. Alright. How are you using a game pact? It's not even a good one. Oh, there goes the disguise. Is that good?
So yeah, Dreadnought is basically what happens when a soft shell turtle becomes crazy powerful. Because it has all the typical traits of a soft shell. They are abnormally fast, they can extend out their necks, and they typically have a nasty bite. This is just a soft shell without a soft shell. It really is a Donatello. No. What? No. No, why would I? Ew. The thought of that is disgusting. Mayo with a spoon, what the fuck? Because you don't eat mayo with a spoon, you eat peanut butter with a spoon. The superior condiment. Peanut butter is totally a condiment. a good time for a uh, substitute, I guess. Yes, burned and cursed. I think it's still cursed. Uh, okay, maybe it's not still cursed. I hope I get some health items soon. Alright. What's up, Tease on the Man? First time chatter, how you doing? Swap? Nah. Yes, right here, right here, right here. We're gonna get an item. I 
need a shell bell. Now we deal with the uh, Sneasel. Okay, Shadow Clown's not effective, I'll just slash it. Oh wow, Mimic use faster. Good, I might be able to restore my health. Damn it, Basculin, you're not gonna get much health back that way. Red Nile's gonna carry this fight, though. That's good. Come on, yes! Paralyzed. Even less likely to move now. More healing. Catch it. We're good. Right there. All right. Perfect. All right. All right. All right. Disco ball go. Mirror beacon eat his heart out. <laughs> good without. Good healing, and now we go for the Feramosa, which likely is capable of KOing most of the team in one hit, because they all swap to the weaker ones that we ran across. That's good! That good at all. Bother cursing until I have a lot more health to work with. Nice. That's a lot of health gain back, too. Well, Bastion's now untouchable for a bit. Now here comes the fun. Lowering its speed will help. Lowering its defense will mean we do more damage to its already dismal defenses. And with our really big mimic you. It's going to do lots of pain to you. <laughs> ah. Alright, come on. Kick its ass. With the floating chair. Good hit, good hit, good hit. And paralyze. We got this. Damn. Pretty good. No faints on that run. Well, against Feramosa, at least. Come on. 
on, get a shiny. Come on, get a shiny. Get a shiny. Catch me a shiny. Catch me a shiny. Please, oh, please catch me that freaking cockroach with the black and white radiant gown. Come on. Give me Pokemon Karen. Click. Did we get it? No shiny. Shiny lick a tongue. No shiny Pheromosa, which sucks, but we did get a yellow lick a tongue. Add that to the shiny pool for everyone. Oh well, you win some, you lose some. In my case, I lost a sh another chance at Shiny Fermosa, but I won another Shiny to add to the prize pool. Shiny giveaway prize pool, Shiny giveaway prize pool. So we ended up getting two Shinies today, a Shiny Tangela, and a shiny Lickitung. Hello, Nas QX. How you doing? First time chatter? Welcome to the stream. You're catching around the tail end of it, but you came just in time to see that we caught this thing. Don't get I. I'm not getting what I want, but at least the increased shiny chance in the layers mean it's actually worth to keep going through time after time. At the end of it, is it's it's almost like a 25% chance to get a shiny. This isn't a good chance, but it's still a chance. With Shiny Charm, that means I have a 1 in 100 chance of, like, getting a Shiny on any of them on the roll. So this is just 4 of them. It's like a 4 in 100 chance to get a Shiny, period. Yeah, something like that. Let's try again. Now before I end the stream, I want to do one more shiny giveaway. So everyone who wants it, who has a Pokemon game or Pokemon Home that can receive it, say something in the chat, like, that way the freaking thing detects you as active, so you'll actually be available to win on the list. Because, you know, dealing with Nightbot here. So we'll do one more run, and then after it, we'll uh, roll for another shiny victor. Ting tang, wall wall, bang bang. All right. Oh wow, there's a run killer right at the beginning over there. Flygon. Goes towards the end, then okay, but at the beginning. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Unless. Unless. Fuck it, let's go for it. It's a terrible idea, let's go! Goggle Dragon, let's go! Pincurchin, you're gonna lose us this. Okay, I'm gonna max Wormwind. Come on, 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 come on,
Come on, come on, come on. What will uh, I get? I don't know. Probably a big fat KO. Probably on me. <laughs> Yep, see? Run killer. We'll try for it anyway, though. Mr. Mime. Silly Mr. Mime. You shouldn't pick. You were a terrible option. You were also sort of the only thing we really had to deal with that. Pincurchin, you are going to faint next turn. He amazingly did not faint this turn. Holy shit. Can you stop using Accu Pressure, you piece of shit? Mine, use an ice type attack for fuck's sake, please. Use an ice type attack before you get killed. for me. Oh, wonderful, you missed. Fucking fantastic. First time you actually try to attack and you fucking miss. Perfect opportunity to use Icy Wind again and you don't take it. My god. Oh, thank god. He didn't use Steel Spike again. We're down one faint. Amazingly, we didn't get absolutely fucking steamrolled by this. And now I have the Flygon to use for the rest of this run. Excellent. Click. Oh yeah. I want to swap. Man time's a good pick. Pincurchin, actually do damage this time, please. Please, if you just land one thunder, it might be enough. Excuse me. Do 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 do. If I remember correctly, Mantine has no real physical defense. It's more of a special defensive move. And judging by that so a pretty solid hit, I think that turns out to be true in this case. And now we'll see how much differently that makes it. Holy shit! Huge difference!
Now it's physically defensive. You know, as long as the pin curtain gets swapped out from the Mantine, I'll be so happy. Catch you. Why did none of you swap to that? Ugh, fucking idiots, I swear. You're lucky I picked a route that heals. Emboka! That's a good one, that's a good one. I hope one of them swaps to that, actually. That's a very good one. to use Dragon Claw because nothing else is really good here. Immunity, motherfucker! And now your speed is lowered too! Haha! -ha. I might actually consider swapping to the Emolga myself. Uh oh. Ho ho. Now oh, we throw another ball at it. Yeah. And away it goes. <laughs> ah. Click. Smash. Wobble. Mine. <laughs> now all I need is to put it next to a guard chomp and I will be the world champion. Acrobatics, rising voltage, endure electro web. I'm good. Alright. Cofagrigus got swapped out. So chances are we're still gonna get some fucking faints like right away. But I ought to be able to do a significant hit or two at least. We had one faint, so that means we got three more lives. Would prefer the pine current shouldn't be swapped out, but hey, beggars can be choosers. <sighs> I wish it missed, honestly. Okay, two lives remaining. Nice. The Mulco is just gonna carry us to victory. Alright, let's go. Okay. That 
acrobatics fucking just absolutely just stomped all over it. Oh, like, oh, I'm sorry, you were supposed to have health? No, you weren't. <laughs> Acrobatics says no. One life remaining. We all could just, uh, Good job. <laughs> Will it be the shiny I'm looking for? Probably not. Let's try. Come on. I need to catch myself a Karen for this team idea. Please. Give me some luck here. I got two shinies tonight. Let it be number three. Number three. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Please. I'm begging you here. Ah. <sighs> Bring me to the screen already. I already know I've caught it. I'm guaranteed to catch it with just a great ball here. No. 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 Ugh. Fuck. Doesn't even have good stats. Bad nature. It's sassy. <laughs> yes, of course, Karen is sassy. Stop being horny in chat. Well, at least you're hydrating. <laughs> yep, no Feramosa, sadly. No shinies. Absolutely depressing. Well, anyways. Everyone who's watching, please say something in the chat right now, like, really quick. Yeah, it's really quick. That's why. PZ already won, let's roll again. PZ already won, let's roll again. I think Nightbot's having a little bit of an issue. Because only Easy Peasy was talking, he's the only one that's getting selected, but he already won. Damn it. Will no one else want to win a shiny? Please, just talk in chat, that's all you gotta do, that's the minimum requirement! No! <laughs> Peasy be coming to my stream every time, just to get a free shiny every time. That's all he be doing. He just be getting free shinies. <laughs> Whatever, let's raid out. Who is online? Who is online? There's a few that are online. Who shall get it? Who shall get it? Uh.
Well. Well, let's read Wallflower. Yeah. We'll read Wallflower. Thank you everybody for watching. Like, follow, favorite, subscribe on whatever platform you have been watching on. Really appreciate it if everyone subscribes to me on YouTube. I would love that. And remember everybody, hats off to you. So let's get this raid going. It's warm in here. Eh.